Well, next up, uh, we've changed a little bit already, customized a little bit with this button here. And we have this button here as well. We've named, changed the name. So everybody knows when you make these screenshots what a system it is. Then, uh, when you reboot, when you boot and reboot, the, the system says, hey, you have to update. So that's a good time for me to explain the update manager. So there is no icon here. As of yet, maybe it will come. But if there are updates, he'll uh, say and uh, you'll have a notification at the right top. And I will go you now to the updates. Updates are already or are also in the software center, SC, software center. And we have divisions here, eight of them. And in these divisions, we can even go further in all the rest. So the thing is, updates are in here as well. What is installed is in here, what the third parties software you can install. We'll get to that in another movie. You can search for things like, I want to have VLC. And you can try to figure out and say, OK, install me. But in this case, it was already installed. You can say automatic check for updates or enable checking for a metered, metered connection. So if there is a bandwidth problem of your own 3G or 4G, stuff like that. Update frequently every hour, daily, weekly, and all updates or only that. So I'm leaving it as it was, no changes there, but I should update. So security updates, the kernel 4.86 has landed from the unstable to the stable, stable, which is great, great news. I already know it works since I have installed it yesterday, so there's no danger there. And everything else, other updates, the budget desktop has an update, PDF reader, events, um, stuff, stuff, stuff. Of transmission as well, VLC as well, and okay, even Solus SC. That's why I said SC Software Center. So, even this one is going to get an update, so that's great. Let's just install everything, update it selected. So, let's close a little bit. Actually, you don't have to see the details, you just click and click, but it's always interesting to see what is happening to your machine. So, update selected. Could be done, but wouldn't I then miss the opportunity to tell you guys there is another way. We go to the terminal and there are two commands you can learn. sudo eopkg and then press tab. What do you want to do? I want to add the repo, build, clean, delete cache, delta, merge install stuff, lists kind of stuff, remove stuff, upgrade stuff. That looks good and promising. So I upgrade stuff. It's up to date. Oh, and there we go. So the things you saw here, the kernel, the NVIDIA was there, VLC was there, HexJet was there, Firefox was there. So the same applies, let's say no, the same applies in the terminal, of course. What else? There is also a PISI command, pressing tab again. And here we see also an upgrade, an update repo, but that's not helping us. So it's no longer update, but it's upgrade in this uh, distro. No sudo apt get, no sudo pacman, it's just pc, pisi, or eopkg. Not sure what the eo stands for, but pkg, probably package. All right, so you can do this here as well. Do you need to get in here? No, you don't. Is it fun to be in the terminal from time to time? Well, in my case, I find it fun. But if you don't want to do all that, just go to the software center and say, OK, update me everything, update selected, and let's see how that goes. 20 operations pending, he's downloading 22 megabits, or is it megabytes per second? It's bytes. So we're already installing, that's how quickly it goes. Or is he extracting and then installing? 
Well, that's the thing. If you go through the terminal, you have a better view of what's going on. Now this is saying installing and extracting and eventually if you don't care, if you say, well, whatever, as long as I'm up to date, then it's, it's just fine to do it via the software center. Going to pause the movie here since kernel models take a little bit of time. As I thought, the kernel models takes some minutes, but here we are at the end. Voila, software is up to date. Of course, we know now that there is a terminal command we can apply. We take our arrow key up and we can check is it correct? Is nothing? No, there's nothing to upgrade or everything is up to date, no packages to upgrade. So that's the message, message you want to receive and that's what this movie is all about, upgrading your system.